Hello everyone, this is Ray Space, and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12, where I want to address an idea that pops up from time to time, and it's a reasonable idea until you try to do it, and that's to put the exploration up, upper stage from the Space Launch System, SLS, onto Starship, into Starship, really. And, well, the problem is very simple. It's, it's like this. <laughs> so this is going to be a very quick video. Uh, you can see it doesn't fit very well. And we you know you could make starship taller but right now as far as i know their plans are to increase the height of starship to accommodate larger propellant tanks not to increase the payload volume and really the payload volume is meant for things that aren't hydrogen <laughs> frankly speaking this is the hydrogen tank and hydrogen takes a lot of volume and starship is not meant to carry hydrogen up so that is one payload it is not really good at doing. It needs denser payloads. And you know, with methane and oxygen, that's denser. So it can do a hundred ton, it could get a hundred ton tank of methane and oxygen in here just fine. Uh, but we're talking about a more than 100 ton stage of hydrolox. So then even though the oxygen tank is thankfully less diameter, it's, uh, it's still not good enough because of the engines. And, well, we can take a look here. Uh, even if the engines didn't have the extension which make them good vacuum engines, they still sort of clip in over here. And right now I uh, don't seem to have the header tanks. I'll have to talk to Pekka about that, why the header tanks aren't appearing. But the header tanks would take a lot of volume up front. There are other problems with this. Starship would have to maneuver away from it, and it's a really, really, really tight fit. Now, of course, the aperture, the door is not big enough, and maybe because I think they've moved the flaps up a bit since this model, uh, maybe. I'll have to check with Pekka on that. It seems like the flaps are a little bit low compared to where they have them right now. So it might be impossible to have the door go all the way down to here. And even if you did have the door go all the way down to here, and open up all the way to the nose here, that would hurt the structure of Starship quite a lot. There's, there's a lot of force being imparted right here, especially on re-entry, and then it, because the airflow is sort of like at that angle, if this isn't strong enough, then that could all buckle. So you would have to make all that stronger because now it doesn't have I mean, right now it doesn't even have this big door, right? So it's all gonna have to be strengthened if you put a big door in, basically. So that is a problem. That's why they haven't put the big door in. And uh, it would it's going to increase the dry mass of it, which also hurts its ability to carry something as heavy as EUS. So ultimately, Starship is going to be longer and maybe they'll be able to fit something, no. No, they're never, I don't think they're ever going to try and fit something like this. Uh, SpaceX doesn't like hydrolocks to begin with. They're not going to accommodate a hydrolock stage inside Starship. So it, it was a noble attempt. Of course, I have my own solutions to this, and they also don't work anymore, I don't think. Well, I had previously made star stages that were meant to fit in here, but... They, they were based on a slightly wider opening because I had my own starship. My own starship had a wider opening. It also had a lot of dry mass. But uh, yeah, now my own star stages also are... Oh, well, this one could probably manage it, but it's very dense. It's kerosene HTP, meant to be cheap. I have a star stage 3, which is Hydrolox, but I'm not spotting it right now. Nope, maybe I don't have Star Stage 3 in here. That's the Hydrolox one. Star Stage 1 was the Kerosene HTP, Star Stage 2 is the Recoverable Methylox, and Star Stage 3 is the Hydrolox. Star Stage 4 is the Xenon, uh, not the Xenon, the Ion Propulsion Unit. But it could be Xenon if you want it to be. But anyway, so those that's the situation. That's the situation. EUS, not great. I didn't even put an adapter on here. I just put the docking port right on it and it still is like this. So probably they would have an adapter on top and that would take more room. Yeah, definitely not in the plans. Definitely this is not meant for that. I don't know exactly what they plan to put in it, uh, except for presumably crew space. But yeah, well, 
that that's the interesting part that's the part that's expensive by the way payloads payloads are expensive they're, they're still on really the easy part <laughs> as crazy as that might sound so that's all i have to say about eus and starship the, the, i don't think you can do it so there we have it with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.